I had quite a few people send us a message asking if I would demonstrate how these these rev counters work. So I've got in the middle machine, I'll start the mill up and show you how it works. It's got three ranges on, it's got 500, 5000 and 50,000 RPM. So we'll start off on the lower range at 500. We'll set the mill away. Make sure that the minute that's reading 150 RPM, we we'll speed it up. And then we get up to 500, that's the limit of the, that range. So we'll turn on to the, the 5000. You can see it's showing 5. If we turn it on to the 50,000, it's showing one division there. I'll bring the camera in a little bit closer so you can get a, a better shot of it. We've got on the, the 500 RPM scale, and you can see there it's still with over 100, 110. We'll change this range and then again I wouldn't need to be holding this at 50,000 RPM, I can assure you that. Anyway, quite a nice piece of kit. I hope you enjoy owning it. As I've said, you can buy a little a digital thing, you put a dab of paint on it, it gives a direct speed rating, but it's not the same as that, is it? That's, that's something nice to own. I managed to do a simple card drawn of the top part for the microphone. The drone has been converted into a format, which is then converted into a J code. This shows a simulation of how the actual part will be cut out. This has actually been cut out of 2mm material, it doesn't need to be that thick, it just happens that that's all I've got. I'll probably do this again, possibly out of aluminium or some thin stainless. I've set the machine to cut these holes at 5mm because I want to put a 6mm drill through them for a 6mm bolt to pass through. But when I get a good look at it, honestly it's done quite a nice job, it's a much much neater hole than I would have expected. The more I use this machine, and especially the drone program, the more I'm learning every time I learn something. Uh, I'm starting to enjoy the CAD drone part of it now. I'm sure it's going to be useful, not just for the plasma cutter, but also for quite a lot of my normal work, where I just do drones on the back of tab packets and bits of paper. I'll be able to do some decent drones with proper dimensions on. I'm at the stage now where I can actually draw something and cut a useful shape out. Um, I mean, can you imagine making that by hand? Chain drilling it and filing it would take you ages, you know, and this is... I'm quite pleased with where they've turned out. Uh, at least I've put the same size and the holes are all in the same place. The holes have turned out quite nicely. i programmed in a 5mm hole. I'm going to put a 6mm drill through anyway. Uh, any dross on the back basically scraped off with my thumbnail 
and I'm still not 100% sure about some of the settings but I'm certainly I can manage to get from a drone to something I can use all you want is a little tickle with a, a grinder or a bit filing it'll be perfectly acceptable that actually mounts on there like that and there's bolts and spacer tubes go between them and there's rubber bands go off them um, onto a, a slightly larger one and that's what gives the microphone its shock mount I'll put a drill through the holes and see what they clean up like I was worried in case this would have a hard skin on where it's been cut with a plasma but it's alright they have cleaned up quite nicely nothing to clean them up just knock the rags off them these need to be about 25 mil apart so what I'm going to do I've got some 3 8 mile steel I'm going to turn some spacers to go in between them and I'll drill and tap them 6mm so the 6mm bolt will go through there, screw into there and then the same on either side and then the plates will end up the right distance apart I've got the thread ball and the collet chuck I'm just going to centre drill it then drill it 5.2 which is top drill size then port them off to the right diameter I'll just be facing in before I start the 5.2 drill should just go straight through and it's nice and soft Right, if I touch this tool off on the end, just whisper it like that. I know the tool's two mil thick, so if I wind it forward 27 mil, that gives us the 25 mil. Spacer. machine that so now we'll just need to go along with 27 27 I don't have an important of it this sort of speed or not it seems to be Just keep going, we'll get the eight done and then I'll put some threads in them.
a nice shop top, brand new top. Not a machine top, just an ordinary top, and it's gone through there. No problem at all. Seven more to do. Once again, it's just that time to say a massive thanks for all the help and support I've had over the last year with this YouTube channel. Um, it's amazing to think what's happened the last 24 months, in fact the last 12 months, this channel's really taken off. Uh, I've had a lot more subscribers, I'm getting a lot more views. If it wasn't for the kindness and generosity of me subscribers, there's no way that I would have been able to go to America uh, to meet up with other YouTube creators and <laughs> reader machinists. Uh, but more than that, to be able to take my wife Deb to Canada, that was absolutely fantastic. That was a, a once in a lifetime opportunity um, and I really do thank everybody that helped us get there for that. So once again, we've got another new year, a new start. I just hope everybody has a, a fantastic year. Don't forget, it's all about family and friends. If you've got family, go and see them tomorrow. Do it, put it off. Because you'll put it off and then it won't be there. Anyway, thanks for watching and all the best for 2018.